Okay, so before we get started on our edit, um, we're going to edit an elephant today. We're going to put him in HDR Merge um, just to see how he turns out. And then we'll just kind of edit it from there, kind of show you my thought process as I go through each and every one of my images. But before we get started, I just want to mention that if you're not already shooting in RAW, um, you need to start um, because JPEG images are basically a computer rendition of what you wanted to take. So if you're taking the time to go and shoot in manual mode or even in shutter priority, I mean, even in automatic, you really should be shooting in RAW because it captures more dynamic range, uh, captures more information in the shadows and also in the highlights so that when it comes right down to editing the image, you have more room to edit. I mean, granted, you can't just take the image and post it right to social media. You have to do a little bit of an edit to it, but as long as your exposures are right, um, there shouldn't be much editing to do. Just a little adjustment to the shadows and highlights and maybe some contrast, and that's good. You should be good. All right, so let's jump on over to our Luminar and let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Luminar Neo. And from here, I'm gonna show you today how to import an image that's not already in your catalog over here. So we are gonna go up here and we're gonna hit add photo and then you're gonna go to your little finder and you're gonna find where that image is. This particular image today, the elephant, he's located right here on this hard drive. So here he is. Now we're gonna add him and just like that, he's in the catalog. Now we're gonna create a new album as well using this same image. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go create album. And we're gonna call this uh, sample edit. There we go, hit return. Now he is in the album. So, Today we're going to use the HDR Merge, which is really easy. Uh, we're going to do a single image and we're going to drag it, we're going to drop it, and you just simply hit Merge. Then it will pop out over here in HDR Merge, which you can't really see where it's at, but it's right here. So here he is. Now we're going to grab him and we're gonna drag him down to sample edit so that they are both in the same album. And that way they'll show up side by side. You don't lose track of your edits. So as you can see, here's the before HDR Merge and here's the after. HDR Merge did a fantastic job on this image. But one thing I want to bring to your attention is that when you do HDR merges, I've found that a lot of times it does bring out noise in the sky because it's bringing out a lot of detail in that sky. You can see the sky before. You could kind of see a little bit of the detail, but now you really see the detail. Okay, so now let's jump on over into the Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and hit presets and we'll see what kind of presets this thing has to offer. The Savannah Collection. So we could turn it into a evening chill. That one's not bad. No, definitely not. Black and white's not bad. Wild Edge. Oof, that really brings out the noise in the sky. This one here looks pretty good. 
So if you click on the preset, then you can also dial down the intensity, which I find pretty cool. So yeah, that's, that's actually kind of a cool little preset there. It works pretty good with that uh, particular image. So now we'll jump on over into edits and let's just go on into the develop modular and we're going to go into mask and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a lineal and I'm going to bring it up from the bottom because I really want to darken up this foreground so that it's not wanting your eye to go there. Then we're gonna go, see how the really darkened up the foreground? So now we're gonna close out of the develop modular and we are going to go into the develop modular again. Notice how all the sliders are back to starting point. And we're gonna go in here and we are going to I'm going to start with the radial mask on this elephant mask. Okay. Then we'll go into brush. Go in here and we will erase some of it because we don't want it to bleed over, but I need to in here and bring it up a little bit so that I can see my lines. I don't want it to lighten up the bushes. I just want to lighten up him. just a little bit along the lines of him to help reduce the possibility of those unwanted halos around your animal edits. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we'll go into adjustments and we're just going to go in and we're just gonna open up the shadows on him. That's all we're gonna do. All that to open up shadows. But that worked pretty good. Made him quite a bit brighter. Might brighten him up just a little bit more. Maybe add a little contrast. go into mask and we're going to we're going to copy this mask so that we don't have to do it again because we're going to go down here and do enhance go to mask go to paste now we're going to go over here and we're going to just accent him just a little bit seeing here so far. Okay, then we'll go into color and I'm gonna do a mask again because I really want to bring some of those reds down because the dirt there in Africa that they roll in is red but it's not quite that red. I just want to tone it down some. Make it a little more realistic. 
So I'm just going to tone down the saturation. I think that worked out pretty good. All right, so go back. We'll take a look at our image. Do a before and after. Before and after. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing. So before we finish this edit, I have a couple extra little things I'm going to do to it. I want to take you over to our affiliate, Luminar Neo, and I just want to let you know that if you use this link on our website, um, the link will also be below in the comments, and use the discount code AB15, and you will get 15% off site-wide. Um, and on this page, we also have a link to our gear, all the stuff that we have in our camera bags. Uh, along with B&H, they're another one of our affiliates. Uh, this here is the deal zone, where y'all, where you can get all your great deals. And right below that, I have a link to beginner camera gear that I recommend. And we also got a couple other affiliates, Pro Media Gear, F-Stop Bag, Topaz Labs, and now we are also affiliates of DxO Pure Raw. And I will show you how that works into my workflow in the near future. So don't forget to like and subscribe and ring my bell so you'll get notified the next time I post a video. All right, so let's jump back in our edit and let's finish this guy up. So if you notice, I went in and I darkened up this background here, or the background. I darkened this foreground, but this right through here is still a little too bright. So I'm gonna go into the develop modular again. Notice all the sliders are back to zero. That's because I am starting with another fresh slate. So this one I'll probably go in, I'll probably just brush it, but I'm not going to do full strength. Probably do about 50%. And I'll just kind of paint it in right through here. And go over here to shadows. We'll just kind of bring those shadows down. I think that did it. Yep, that did it. And there you go. There you have it. So before we leave though, we are going to use this noiseless and we are going to, I think I'm going to mask it, use a lineal, and I'm only going to do it in the sky. See how that works out. Do low. Just let how the little lines go and they kind of follow your mouse if you drag your mouse around there we have it the noiseless so oh if you look up here looks like I had something on my lens let's go in we got one more thing to do before we leave Go into Erase and use this amazing tool right here, Remove Dust Spots. Watch how they just disappear. Oh, we'll close it. Zoom into that corner. See what a great job it did of removing those spots? So it looks like we still have some noise there. So there's one more way to get rid of noise and that is to isolate the sky go in here go to luminosity and just zoom in and we'll just really crank it up since it's doing it just on the sky so there's your before and after really helped that really helped a lot Okay. All right. So once again, don't forget to like and subscribe 
and ring my bell so you'll get notified the next time I post a video. And that is the conclusion to today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget that if you want me to edit one of your images, um, email it to me in the to the email listed below and I'll edit it on a future video. All right. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.